Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As part of this video, I'm going to show you how we can make use of mass edit option in Sidecode Content Hub to to edit uh, different you know properties um, at once from different uh, of different assets basically, right? So uh, when we talk about um, editing in um, uh, you know digital asset management system in Content Hub. Let's just review one asset, right? So let's just go to a create, or it could be you know in the under assets or under review. So if you go under create and let's just select one asset, right? So let me just select the uh, the very first one here. So if I click on this asset, right? So now we are into asset detail page, and there you will see um, different metadata which is available here for us to update right so under overview we have you know um, in the file name the description type marketing description you know agency and several other things similarly uh, we also have this custom asset properties which you can update then we have you know other things also similarly if you have other um, properties also added to your asset entity then <clears throat> you might want to update those stuff also right so one way to um, edit all these things is uh, you just go to your asset detail page and then you start you know updating those fields individually so that is one way of doing it right but um, how about if you know um, you have um, you know you have uh, um, you know several you know hundreds of items where you want to basically just update uh, you know let's say if you talk about some kind of tagging so if you want to just uh, specify the type of you know all those assets selected assets to you know one of the specific type there right so let's say fact sheet right so if you just want to update the type of all the assets uh, based on your you know based on your um, search which you have already saved you want to basically update you know uh, the type there so how you cannot just go to you know those uh, assets detail one by one you can I mean I mean you can always do that but that's not feasible right to go into those you know um, several hundreds of items individually and just change the type you know one by one so instead of that what you can do you can make use of uh, mass edit option so mass edit option is um, you know is all about uh, updating um, you know updating your assets specific properties based on your configuration so let's say um, i'm right now i'm into my asset detail page um, on on the create page and if i select you know these um, assets for example the first four assets so right now these first four assets are selected and now if you see like uh, this option is also enabled for me so if i uncheck this one Right, you don't see you know any of the options there, but as soon as I select something here, you know um, this edit option is enabled. So it is edit in table. So if I click on that, right. So if I click on that, you you see like we have this asset uh, mass edit table, and here you will find we have file name, we have title, and several other things also available for us to edit. Right. So if you want to update the description of all these assets to a generic one, or you know if you want to just uh, from the one page if you want to update the description, mass edit uh, table is an option for us. Right. Uh, but this is the this is the default behavior. Right. Uh, if you see if you notice you know there are other fields also which we have created as part of our asset entity but we are not seeing it here right it is not available as part of our mass edit table component here and uh, as i just explained like uh, for example if you want to change the change the asset type for you know for certain assets to a specific type then uh, you also need that type also to be you know part of um, this table this mass edit table so how to enable certain fields uh, so that it comes as part of your mass edit table component so for that what you have to do is just go to the manage section as always and then from here you have to go to pages because everything in you know content hub is a page so even this thing whatever we are checking here is a page here right so what we do um, you just go to pages section and then you start searching for uh, mass edit now here uh, you see we have as we are dealing with the uh, you know um, assets here so we should find something with uh, yeah we have this asset um, yeah we have at this asset mass edit table right just click on that 
and again you know it's as i mentioned everything is in table here so you will find a layout you know all other things just just like how you know how we observe for other um, pages also so here you see like uh, one of the component which is added here is mass edit table so this is what the component which i'm talking about mass edit table and um, if we just click on edit for this mass edit table component you will find uh, the definition currently what we are looking for is asset that's right because of you know we are trying to mass edit these things for an asset entity so it is uh, m.asset show thumbnail is okay because you know we are also showing the thumbnail over here which is again okay now um, um detail page navigation is currently disabled which is fine but now if you see the columns here right so right now file name title description type and text are enabled and this is what currently we see um, into this table also right file name title total five um, columns are enabled and here also we have five columns now if you want to add something in here let's say i want to change the marketing description you know for all uh, i want this marketing description to be part of my ad table so i can add that if i want to add something else let's say uh, you know i just mentioned about asset description right so i can just add asset description here if i want to add uh, something like asset source which we just added uh, in our previous um, session so i can just add asset source also and once you are done with adding all the columns you can just click on save and close once you do that um, just go back to your page just reload it and now you see right we have this you know text marketing description asset description asset source so this is these are the three fields which we added here uh, as part of our mass edit table if you remember uh, we just added these three columns uh, yeah so we added these three columns and that's what you know we see it here now for example let's just change something here um, uh, test description so what I'll do, I'll just copy over the same test description to all the assets. And this is my test asset description. So, you know, you don't have to go to individual asset detail pages and just update these things in one from one place itself. You can do that. Right. And as this was a taxonomy item, so if I click on this one, I should get an option to basically select the taxonomy, which I want to add here. So you can always do that also. Let me just quickly do this and let's just go yeah so we are good and once you are done with you know and and in addition to that if you have something on the description type and all those things you can always do that type is also taxonomy so you should find an option so um, that should be fine for now and once you are done just click on save and close so just uh, wow why is it I think there is something going on in the background. Uh, just to oh. so if I see uh, here on the background processes. We'll just check if there was something there or not. Uh, no, nothing. So let me just quickly add test description. We lost the connectivity here, which is okay. So I'm not going to go over you know all those things again. I can just click on save and close. Right. So now our mass input job queued. And then you should also see something on if I refresh this. Should refresh again. Right, so there is a mass edit which is going on and it is succeeded. If I check the report, you can see the mass edit page was asset mass edit table which is seems to be okay now if i go back to specific page item let's say i just randomly go to this page item and and let's just you know 
check the description part of it which is test description here right so that's how you know you can make use of uh, uh, mass edit option to edit uh, uh, you know uh, all the properties of uh, you know based uh, based on your selection of the assets um, at, at once right so instead of doing, doing that one by one another thing which i just want to show you here is um, uh, see uh, this is uh, uh, our create page but you know we also have something called as inline view right um or so this is what we call it as inline view so let me just go into inline view of this particular asset and here also you know um, see the thing which i'm just trying to show you here is if i just click on this item we land to the detail page and in the detail page we have a different you know um look and feel of how exactly we can change you know what different uh, fields are available so we can basically update everything in here right then we also um, we also checked how we can make use of mass edit to edit different properties of your asset um, item right so that also we uh, we just saw there is another thing which i just want to show you is in terms of inline preview so if i click on inline preview it's basically a flyout of your um, asset detail page and here if you see um, you know we have uh, edit option here also but here it is just title and file name so if i just click on uh, this one we also have a description because it was not um, it was not filled in that's why you're not seeing it but that is also something which you can control so <clears throat> you know how about if you just want to update something you know on the fly out, uh, fly out view also of your um, asset detail page right so uh, to enable certain properties to be editable on the fly out view or the inline view what exactly you have to do is uh, you have to go to uh, let me go to manage right so we are into asset so let me just go to uh, pages and then let's just go to asset page from here so let's just go to asset page from here and um, from the assets page we should see something here details yes and if i click on this and no, that's not something which we are looking. We should have something else in here. Um, no, I think it is assets detail. Right, and if I go back here and Add it. Oh, sorry about that. Just give me a second. So what we're trying to do is um, we are actually trying to create an inline preview of asset. Yes. So. Let's just go to create page. This is what we're doing for the create. And here we have search, yes. And if you click on add it, and we have you know different options in here. So one of the options what we have is output, and in the output we have this inline preview, right? and if i sell go down yeah so we have this title file name and description so if i click on this inline preview here so we have title file name and description right so what i can do from here is i can add you know other things also like marketing description for and let's say just add one more field maybe um, i'll add uh, asset description yeah and just click on save once you are done with that just click on save and close and uh, 
from here let's just refresh this page and um, yes just click on inline preview yeah so you see right we have this marketing description we have this asset description so this is also one way you know you can edit the content in um, um, uh, in uh, in content hub so on in a different view of it so we we so what we uh, so today is how we can update the content in the regular um, asset detail page using mass edit so that you know we can update uh, several things at once instead of going to um, instead of going into you know different pages one by one and then we can also update the content uh, on the flyout mode or basically it's inline view so those things also we can do so that's about it from this um, from this video thanks for watching and hope i uh, hope you liked it thank you